From the birth of Dada to contemporary art brunches, Zurich is home to a fascinating history and an exciting culture. Join us at Artifications while we explore the art scene in Zurich, Switzerland. This is Zurich, the metropolitan hub of Switzerland. This region has been continually occupied since the Roman era. The land would later be controlled by the Alemannian group, a Germanic group, which actually is the core reason why German is the primary language spoken in this region. Every war leaves a psychological scar on those it directly affects. That's why it's understandable that after World War I, it was the world that was left scarred. From the ashes came a new art form. It was 1919, and the world was sick of war. Just three years prior, a German by the name of Hugo Ball had moved to Zurich and was turning heads with his recently printed Dada Manifesto. It soon gave rise to a movement that eventually conscripted many influential artists, including Hans Arp, Marcel Duchamp, Tristan Zara, and Marcel Janko. Dada is credited with being the first conceptual art movement because it wasn't about aesthetics. Instead, it was about upending the idea of order. Dada, at its roots, combines avant-garde rejection of order and a celebration of the absurd. So ingrained was its rejection of order that Hugo Ball himself left the Dada group he co-founded just six months after writing his manifesto, on the basis that he did not want Dada to become a movement. The movement itself imploded in 1919, and Dada was absorbed into various artistic lineages that we still observe today, including Surrealism, Futurism, and Cubism. <laughs> to attend an art brunch in the most affluent section of all of Zurich at the top of the Manor Mall. So, let's go meet some friends. I'm Oliver Schiebel, curator of the art market in Zurich. We are in, uh, in, the, in the middle, actually, of Zurich, in the Bahnhofstrasse. It's one of the most famous uh, shopping streets in Europe. It was, actually, my idea was, I don't want to do have only the fresh from the school. I want, I have several ones, they never exhibit anywhere. They didn't pay for the booth, but if they really sell something, we take 15%, which is nothing, actually. Oh, not a lot. I'm an artist too, I'm all already, I'm exhibiting as well, so 15% is nice if you don't have to pay for the booth. And this shopping mall actually support us with the location and actually they paid for the booth for the artists. They make it possible. My name is Milena Mortari. I'm Italian, but I was raised here in Zurich, in Switzerland. I think even the, in the city itself, like you see more art around, you see, you know, like the art installation with the crane, I don't know if you saw it, but they brought it in from Germany and they just put it in the middle of the city for a while. Because we, we do it maybe in, uh, before Christmas the next time. So we just, we started already looking for the new ones. So. I love working with Web Tigress. I mean, I thought I knew it all. That is, until I had a conversation with her, and she broke it down into three main parts I won't ever forget. Website design, social media management, and most importantly, content. 
As a social media Luddite, it's the Tigris approach that helps us and many others communicate effectively with our social media public. I particularly enjoy the ease of communication while discussing such topics as developing your personal brand reach. You can get a great deal just for being a listener of this podcast by visiting webtigers.com slash artifications. Webtigers, your first and last stop for successful web strategies. Zurich is amazing. It's equal parts beautiful and bizarre. Beautiful in the way that it endeavors to preserve its amazing architecture and bizarre in its inability to create opportunities for its young and emerging artists. Now, of course, this might change. If more people step up to the plate and create opportunities for these young and emerging artists to blossom and show, well, then we might just see an advent of Swiss artists coming up in the contemporary art market. Now, with all that being said, it is a little bit of a crazy time in the world right now. As that is the case, I recommend that we do, as they did in Switzerland, back in the early 1900s as a direct result of World War I, and throw a little absurdity into the mix. Maybe it's time for a little bit of Dada. Who knows? But with Zurich being a very buttoned up city, I'm always one to throw a little bit of color into the mix. Because you can't spell Earth without art. Thank you for watching Artifications. I'm Roland Ramos. Thank you.